Ta-da! It's here. Oh my god, I have it in my hands. The Papercraft Society Box 1. I can't believe it. I ordered this right at the very beginning when they advertised or started to promote that they were doing these kits. So I signed up, I shared it on my Facebook page and I know lots of others of you signed up as well and you have painfully been waiting. <laughs> like myself so yes we did wait a long time for this one but going forward you will just wait normal four weeks you know every month and you will get a kit if that's how you've decided to subscribe so anybody that is not familiar with this this is the papercraft society box kit from craft stash so they have just started this it's launched the first one by christina griffiths and then every month there will be a new designer launching a new kit the kit inside, from what I've seen online, is amazing. They've really put a lot of thought into this. Christina has, you know, really thought out all of the dies and the papers and everything, but the presentation alone, I think, is exceptional. I have already looked inside this one and I had been sharing videos anyway, so I already kind of knew what it was going to be like. So let's get inside. So you can see here the nice box. Love, love all of this beautiful design. Got a nice Velcro closure and then when you open it up here it says I hope you enjoy this beautiful kit as much as I have enjoyed putting it together for you. Christina. Oh, lovely. And then first of all you get this big envelope. So again, it's got a nice Velcro fastening. Don't forget to share your makes with us, hashtag, hashtag papercraft society. And then you open this one up and it has so much stuff in it. So first of all I was drawn to the dies but I'm going to start here. So you have... I'll just flip it over. There's your stamp set. You've got lots of nice sentiments, nice leaves, love the flowers. So yep, so that's really, really nice. And then these are some of the papers that, no, these are the, sorry, these are the pattern papers and then inside you've got your cardstock. So this is the one that's obviously, I think everyone's going to use this one because it's the one that's on the box. It's gorgeous, really, really lovely. You get two sheets, it's all A5 and you get two sheets of this one here. Got a nice subtle, that's going to be nice for backgrounds as well still. And this one here, really pretty, very delicate. And then you've got these really deep roses there as well. Very, you know, you can easily cut around this as well and create other effects. So those are your decorative papers. So that's that side. And then the lovely thing about this is, is you can keep, obviously, all of this. I mean, if you've got the room, you can keep all the boxes and, you know, stack them up. But certainly these envelopes, I think, are perfect. And this is your dies. These are lovely. This die here crea creates your 5 by 7 card. So it is. It's 5 by seven, which is my favorite card size. So I was so pleased. I like big cards. And then you've got this beautiful edge die there. Then these will cut out your flowers here. In fact, they do all three because you've got this one. You've even then got your stamen detail there. You've got your outer cutting die and then your detail. So again, you can do so many different effects with this. That isn't one die, there are two separate dies there, your frame and the detail. Then you've got an inner frame, so it's perfect for shaker cards. All of these here will fit around all of your sentiments. You've got that beautiful border trim, and you've got these here, these leaves, which were, again, will die cut this leaf here. And is there another one? Yep, that one there. And then you've got that lovely holly decorative corner there as well and this one says with love and they are it's one die but they are separate you know the words are separate so you can have them obviously used in you know another way and that's two different dies as well loads you have so much there so many wonderful ideas i need to think what i'm going to do and then towards the end here you have your embossing folder so you will be able to fit these sentiments um these stamps will fit in here and I would have thought the with the love die that one there will fit perfectly amongst that beautiful and it's not just for Christmas I mean all of those dies there can be used all year round even the papers so although it's the Ponsettia flower it's you know it can still be used all year round this is really lovely it's a nice big size again I believe that's five by seven yep perfect but obviously if you do like to make smaller cards and you can do so it's a nice size. And then here you have your foiled, I guess, embellishments, toppers, things like that. So you have all of these ones here with the gold foiling. And then here you've got more sentiments. So although you have your stamps, you've also got these ones that are done for you. So they're really sweet. So that's what you get in the big envelope. And then we have more. So in here, 
take this off because I like to keep the tissue paper. So in here we have the collectible inks. So these are the Paper Graph Society inks. These are, I don't know if it tells you what colour they are. Let's have a little look. So, let's see. Oh, so no, I guess, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yellow, black and uh, green, but it's more olive green. That's more of a slightly deeper yellow, more going down the mustard kind of route. And then you've obviously got that black. These are hybrid inks and they're made in the USA. So very cool, like those a lot. And then we've got some paper flowers and these are great because you can change the, you can ink them. So you can just pop this ink onto your glass media mat and then with some, with a paintbrush and you can go on and, you know, distress the edges. You can spray them, you can, Put glitter on them you know there's lots of things that you can do with those so although they're plain white which looks lovely anyway you can easily color them then we have here this was oh yeah the measurement guide so which is always handy and it's a nice little pocket size there and, you, and we have this beautiful it's a flat back pearl embellishment it's like a it's a it's one big sticker so you could put that on the front of the card as it is but you can easily use these all individually <laughs> So what you could do, you might just find that you use those individually and then you've still got that lovely big piece there because this is kind of, could be separate. Really, really nice, really pretty. Then we have the booklet. And do you know what? I don't know, I was kind of just expecting some, just a few pages, but it is, it's a proper nice little, it's stapled. It's just a really lovely book full of inspiration. There's 15 ideas in here. I think there might even be a few more actually. But those alone are going to be nice to collect. So let me then get the cards here. So this is your card stock. So you have that gorgeous pearlized yellow. Is it picking up there? Oh, there you can just see. And obviously that's going to match perfectly with your ink, along with the green there as well. So that's the yellow. We've got that nice smooth green. That's lovely. And then we've got that softer yellow. So it's more of like a lemony yellow. And then that lovely, it's like a, it's almost the color of my nails. Really, really nice. Love those color, love those two together. I think they look brilliant. And that's the nice thing about it. Obviously it's full of inspiration here, but you know, like me, break the rules. You can do your own thing. <laughs> so let's have a little look here. So you've got hello and welcome to the first Paper Graph Society box. There's a little introduction by Christina. Then you have your contents, lots and lots of inspiration. Then it's the five minutes with Christina. And obviously then her cards. So this is using the Pinsettias. Beautiful, look at all the detail there. Really, really lovely. And then obviously you get all your step-by-step -step instructions. That was the one I saw that Jeanette done. I like that. And that's obviously then just telling you about more of the range. Lots and lots of inspiration. I love that one. That was one that they showed with the, yeah, Nikki made that one. Just thought it was really nice. Just, uh, you know, again, using your stamps and layering them and yeah, a little bit of color. Looks really, really lovely. And then it tells you a little bit about the Paper Craft Society. So again, those that aren't familiar with this, I will share the links below, but basically what is the Paper Craft Society? It's a premium collection of paper craft products delivered direct to your door each month. Exclusive paper craft goodies by brands such as Card Making Magic, Bright Rosa, Simply Made Crafts and more. Exclusive mini magazine featuring projects from top designers. Learn new paper craft techniques and build your stash. Make stunning projects using the contents of each box. Access exclusive video tutorials to help you every step of the way with each project and choose from monthly, quarterly or yearly subscriptions. And that's the thing I really like and I'm so glad they've done that because you have the choice to just do monthly so you can dip in and dip out. Don't feel that you're obligated to, you know, commit to, uh, you know, six months or a year. Although that option is there, you can just do the monthly one. And also this is, I thought was really good, is you can subscribe for 12 months and you'll save 25%. So you're, you're kind of getting three, yeah, three boxes for free. I think that's great. And then here you've got gorgeous gift wrap. They're beautiful. Who doesn't love a pillow box? And it tells you all what you'll need. And then there's more bits and pieces there as well. So I think that is just a nice little touch. Let me just pop all this back in for the moment. 
I'm not going to put my sticker back on. I'm going to, uh, I might pop that, I'll pop it on the box somewhere because I can use that tissue paper. But yeah, there is the first box, just a quick insight. I will be sharing projects using this kit. I can't wait to make some lovely bits and pieces. And yeah, I'm really pleased I've got it. I'm not disappointed one bit. I paid for this with my own money, so this is my complete honest review. And I knew I wouldn't be disappointed. Craftstash, I, you know, I feel are a really lovely company. And um, yeah, I think they've, they've produced something really nice. So let me know what you think below. I'd really be interested to know what you think. Let me know if you've also got yours as well, because I know many of you did uh, subscribe. And um, yeah, let me know if you feel that you want to subscribe. Unfortunately, you won't get this box. The next one is Christina Griffin. So that's going to be nice. Look forward to that one. And if you do follow Craftstash, they, you know, will start to do now the, I guess, event, well, I would imagine soon we're going to start seeing all the promotion for the next box because it'll be four weeks time. So I look forward to that. So there we go. Look out for tutorials. They will be on their way. And uh, yeah, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's quick video and subscribe to my channel so you get to see what I make with this lovely product. Thanks for watching. Bye.